my name is Jason and welcome to Dao Qigong. In this video, I'd like to share you one of my favorite exercises, which I love to do. It's great for releasing stress, creating space in the body. Um, it's one of the first exercises in the Badawa Jin, the eight brocades. Um, I just love it because it opens up everything, um, especially with the majority of the Shaolin exercises. Um, that the lungs are the key aspect to first uh, uh, work with before you're doing all the other exercises. Um, so uh, pushing the sky. How do you get started? We always start in shoulder width, so make sure that your feet are about shoulder width apart. Uh, we want to align the body, so that means we're uh, making sure that all our weight is carried on the nine uh, uh, structural uh, points in our feet. The knees a little bit loose. Your waist is relaxed, a little bit kind of like you're um, sitting on a high chair. Your back is straight. Arms and shoulders are relaxed next to the body. Kind of imagine like a little tiny ping pong ball underneath your arms to create a little bit of space. Your neck is straight. You can just tuck your chin in a little bit. You want to um, touch the tip of your tongue to the top part of your, uh, the pallet of your mouth, just behind your front teeth. That connects the uh, Ren and Dumai circulation, the two major meridians in your body. Just kind of lift your head up a little bit. In the beginning, when you do the posture, you can just kind of stand in that pose and just try to kind of align yourself out again. And then when you have the feeling that you're aligned and you're comfortable, uh, you can start the exercise. Hands or the arms kind of like there's a big uh, circle in there. You don't completely straight, just a little bit so the elbows are released. Hands straight on the bottom. And you can kind of imagine you, you want to open a large tap. So when you start to open, this is the start of the inhalation. So uh, what we want to do also is we want to make sure that the speed of our movement, the physical movement matches the, the speed of our breath. Um, and our attention is placed in the middle of our palm, in the Lao Gong area. So when we start, turn the tap is the inhalation, start the inhalation. Arms come up to the middle of the chest, you sink a little bit. Palms turn over, going up. Reach for the sky, see if your arms can go a little bit more backwards and then you're looking up into, straight into the sky. Make yourself as long as possible. And exhale. So you sink, open the tap. Pull up the chi, the air. Once you've reached the chest, palms move over. Hands start moving up towards the heaven. You follow your hands. You make your arms as long as possible. You want to stretch this as, as, as comfortably, as strengthfully as you can. You look up towards the sky. It's like you're holding up the sky. And you relax. Do it one more time. So sink. Turn the taps open. Scoop up the chi. Once your hands reach your chest height, they start to turn over and you sink a little bit and then you start to extend your body again. You follow your hands all the way up, make your arms as long as possible, stretch them up, looking towards the sky. This is a, a position you can potentially hold for three deep in and exhalations if you like. And you sort of make sure you're always extending your arms as far as possible and stretching all the tendons. And then release on an exhalation. So one more time. Sink. Turn the taps open. Inhaling with chi. Hands turn over. Follow your hands. Hold for three breaths. 
So you keep breathing through your nose, just in and out. And extending the arms as, as high as possible. You might want to see if you want to move them a bit more backwards towards your ears. And then exhale. So this is something you can play with. You can either do it very um, um, quick. So do a quick version. So you sink, pull up, keep inhaling, push up, hold for a second, and let go. Sink. So you can do it a bit more quickly, or you can do it really long. If you definitely, if your breath is very deep already, that you take the time and just really take that deep breath, and then step by step work through it, and then hold it for three, or maybe if you want to do it longer. Kind of looking for the most where you can find the most tension because that's where you want to breathe towards and release the tension in your body and on exhalation you release So those are some basic uh, uh, aspects of pushing the sky. Uh, just a simple uh, exercise you can do to open the lungs, help relax your system. I find it creates a lot of relaxation in my entire body when I do this because you're stretching so high and breathing deep and just letting everything go. Great exercise to, to practice with. Um, so it's part of the Bada Wajin, eight brocades, uh, if you want to check that out, that's also on the, the, on the site, uh, definitely take a look at that, very powerful exercise, and um, just have fun practicing this. <laughs> Thanks very much.